what do I think of the Chanel 19 and is it still relevant in 2023 so yes so I'm gonna answer those questions guys so first of all I have had this bag for roughly uh, five months now and so I have a good view of how the bag is and I've used it possibly twice every week so i would say that i have gotten my wear out of this bag and i have used this bag quite extensively over the five month period so yeah so i would say that i have always just to give you a bit of a background i have always loved the chanel 19. so this was carl lagerfeld's last you know it was his last foray or like you know his last creation before he unfortunately passed away so that is pretty special to me because i know carl lagerfeld loves his cat and i'm like i'm a cat you know i'm a cat mom so i um i like that and apparently his cat is living his best life this bag has been in my radar for quite a long time since it was first launched in 2019 hence the name chanel 19 and I first actually saw it in real life when I was at the mall and then I saw this um, my gym one of my gym friends has the bag and I was like I wasn't even hesitating but I asked her can I touch the bag and then I touched it for the first her bag which is kind of weird to like ask you know someone but at least I know her from the gym and then I was like oh my gosh how lucky and she said because over in New Zealand there's no Chanel boutique so i he she was like oh i got it when i was overseas on a holiday i was like oh my gosh i cannot wait to get my hands on this bag and then when the when it was time for me to actually you know purchase the bag i have looked for several weeks and i i didn't find the right color because i'm a colorful gal you know sheila sparkles love me a bling and love me like colorful so stuff so i was like oh i really want it in a seasonal color because don't get me wrong but those girls who love you know neutrals which is good on you but for me personally i love colors even as a child i've got like a pink bag you know so i've always loved pink and like colorful bags and this was when i first saw it on the shelf when it was presented in front of me by my now lovely sa i was like this is it. I saw a lot of variations in like bubblegum pink, Barbie pink, but this really, I really wanted the chain because some of the Chanel 19 actually comes in like single color, like the, you know, the hardware. Like the one in Singapore was actually just silver, like muted ruthenium hardware, something like that, like muted silver color. And for me, I really wanted this. I love the Turnlock CC that is intertwined with, it's mixed with the leather. It's a cowskin leather. And it's just so beautiful. And previously, they have the goat skin. But I think even if given a chance, I think I would still prefer the lamb skin because it's soft to touch. And it is actually durable, guys. Like, you might think this bag is not durable. It is. I've been caught in the rain on this using this bag and I just wiped it down and everything was fine. What else? And yeah, so let's move on. So that's the reason I got the bag because I love the color. I love the massive quilting. I love everything about the bag. I love that the chains are all different. Like there's ruthenium hardware and then there's also, you know, there's also this ruthenium like shiny silver and then muted and then we have the age gold hardware as well all intertwined and i love that you can use the bag in three ways not just two but three so first you can use it under like this situation so you can just tuck the chain so if you tuck the chain inside this i think is one of the pro you know like this and then you you have like this you know evening out and just like tuck it under the armpits so like oh oh she's it's so good it's like the best thing since like you know since sliced bread like the way that it feels it's so nice and like poofy you know like puffy i love it so yeah and and then you can also do a crook of the arm situation and then you can also do a cross body which 
you know it's crossbody the length is quite it's not really shoulder because the this is i'm an average height of 5'5 five five or 165 centimeters and this is also perfect for me crossbody so yeah i would say i love this bag i think it's stunning it is one of a kind now i feel like some people do a disservice in this bag because i've seen you know from other people i've seen the bag being used and they're so slouchy i don't know if you're into the slouchy look but for me i love me like a structured bag so what i did to keep the structure of this bag and to maintain its beautiful self was to put a bag insert or bag organizer so the bag insert and also i've actually so i got it in white there's still some stuff here but yeah i got it in white and then what else i've also got a base shaper i don't know if you can see that so the bag just has one zip that i have never used before now that's the that's the bag insert and look how the bag is if it didn't have the bag insert and then the bag organizer there you go it still looks good but it has maintained its structure because i have you know i have used all these things and I've, I've always empty or tried to empty my bag and put it in the shelf here so if you can see the box guys that would be another unboxing so the next video would be the unboxing of that so stay tuned so yeah if you're new to this channel i'm sheila sparkles good morning good afternoon or good evening wherever you are in the world I love to talk about luxury, fashion, and lifestyle. So hit the like and subscribe down below if you are into this type of things. So yeah, there you go. So that's my Chanel 19. And I feel, again, going back to what I was saying, some people don't have like the base shaper or the bag organizer insert. And I feel it looks shit. <laughs> it looks a bit crappy. Like some of them especially the bigger chanel 19 they do not look nice in my opinion if you don't take care of its structure or maintain its structure so yes yeah, so that's one tip is to get some bag organizer and especially now that this bag if you're planning to buy this bag right now it's actually really quite expensive like ever there's already been a, a recent chanel price increase and it has gone up like a thousand Australian dollars more so there you go so you know if I wouldn't wait that long but of course guys like you know sometimes you also have to look at the colors and if you like tweed because they come in a lot of like variety and I feel like the tweed versions are also actually quite beautiful as well but yeah but I love the soft pillowy structure so yeah um what else would I say about the bag so pros it is stunning it can be cash it can be dressed up or down so i've definitely used it on nice dinners out so what i do is i tuck the chain and then i do this crook of the arm and then if i want a casual look then i just cross body it or you know i can still hold it like so but most of the time actually four ways so like this i can handheld crook of the arm and cross body well, there you go i mean you can shoulder but it's way too long for my my frame i mean my height so yes that is the pro one of the pros what else aside from its durability that i would consider that as a pro as well because this iridescent green color that's a pro for me because you know me i love colors and cons now there is no such thing as there's no cons to the bag so the first con I would say is that look at the sides guys like you can see your thing can easily not easily but I mean if you have you know a pen or something it might fall off or a lipstick I've heard some people losing their lipstick lip glosses but I personally haven't because I love to keep my it's not here but I have a um I have got like a Louis Vuitton mini pochette and I keep things there although I must say I have used this without the mini pochette and none of my lipsticks have fallen so i don't know if how you're how they're holding their bags like upside down you know so and then one of the cons as well so there's a slip pocket on the outside where you can keep your phone but sometimes i wish this wasn't here because the magnetic closure sometimes it just gets on the way with your phone i feel like so 
I don't like that there's a magnetic closure. I hope it was just one compartment, you know. And what else? Con as well is this can actually dig in. So after a long day of like carrying it like so, depending on what's inside your bag, but most probably like 95%, it will create like a dent on your skin if you are, you know, if you are not aware. So that's definitely a con and it can actually hurt if you're quite sensitive, but I'm not. But you know, for those people who are quite, not frail, but like quite sensitive, delicate, you know, it might be a con for them. But for me, it is a bit of a con. They say about the twisting of the chains here. That rarely happens to me. But that could be a con for you. Because we are trying to scrutinize this bag. What other con? Oh, and when you actually put it like as a crossbody, it can also sometimes this chain might go here and it might dig in. So after long periods of time, it might move around. So definitely that's, uh, oh, that's actually the con actually happened. So I've got like a small Chanel sample perfume here and it went out. So maybe I have lost a sample perfume, but you know, so just be careful. So that is definitely a con that things can slip out. So yeah, good time to do this um video. What else would I say? Yeah, that, that would be it guys. Things falling off. I mean, if you don't like mixed metals, you can now get this in one singular metal. Some of them comes in like silver, some of them all age gold. I've seen quite a few on, you know, this collection. And I would still say that they are very relevant in 2023. I have seen a lot of people, not a lot, like maybe, yeah, quite a lot in the mall, like people wearing this bag, but not to the point that I've seen it everywhere. So I love, I love me the logo. I'm a logo ho. I love this massive CC here, you know, like just scream it to everyone that I am wearing Chanel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you know, I love, I love me a designer handbag. So I love, I just, I aesthetically wise, I love it. You know, it is, it's truly, it's, it's truly is a, a beautiful bag, I would say can be casual can be i've taken this to like i've taken this everywhere actually not just to the mall i've taken it to like a park i've taken it i've taken it everywhere and i would say to nice dinners out fancy simple dinners it's just it's just it's quite versatile bag i would say and if you if this is your first bag then go for it because this is a beautiful bag i know the price point is not very friendly but if you are a lover of Chanel which I am then go for it I would say so yeah there you go that is my quick and honest review of the Chanel 19 there's no wear and tear of with like with my bag at all but I do take care of my bag again try to get like an organizer as well as a base shaper they don't cost that much and for the amount that you're paying for this bag you know like splurging or getting a base shaper it it's nothing compared to the bag because if you want your bag to look pristine because i definitely do my bags and shoes i always want them to look nice so yeah there you go so i hope you enjoyed this video everyone and if you do please do become member of our luxury lover and friends so until next time, I will see you on my next video. Bye everyone.